Welcome to this training video. Here we will present you the different methods that are implemented in our software program DeepX for the calculation of the active and passive earth coefficients, as well as the different soil pressures calculation methods. DeepX is our software program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can perform structural and geotechnical analysis of any common wall type and support system. In DeepX, we have implemented several methods for the calculation of the active and passive earth coefficients Ka and Kp, such as Rankin, Gulob, Kakotke Rizel, and Lancelota. The software has an automatic procedure and it selects the most suitable method according to the theory. The parameters that are taken into consideration for the selection of the best method are if any soil inclination is applied on the model, if any wall friction is considered, and if we have selected to apply seismic effects on the model. Apart from the automatic procedure, DeepX also has a manual procedure where we can define the Ka Kp values manually for each soil. This procedure should be followed only if we have very complex sliding surfaces that may not be directly captured by the automatic procedures. The manual KAKP values can be defined only while using the software nonlinear analysis method. Inside the DPEX software, we have implemented a big number of methods for the calculation of the soil pressure diagrams. For cantilever excavations, we recommend the use of active pressure and passive pressure methods, while in models with multiple support levels, we recommend the use of apparent pressure diagrams, such as the FHWA apparent pressures, custom trapezoidal, two-step rectangular, PEC pressures, Wamata Justin Construction Manual, New York City DEP, etc. In DPEX software, we have created a model with four construction stages, and in all these stages, we are using active pressures. We will add a new stage, and we will use PEC pressures. We will add another one, and in this one, we will use the FHWA apparent pressures. We will add a new stage where we will assign the WAMATA construction manual pressures and the last stage where we will use the two-step rectangular pressures. We run the analysis. We will close the calculation and checking summary table here. And if we go through the stages from stage three and after and select to load the horizontal pressure diagrams, we can review all the calculated diagrams in every construction stage where a different method was used. Visit our website in order to receive more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.